Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is Frank here. I'm here giving you a review on a pet trailer made by PetSafe. PetSafe uh, makes it in two sizes for this type of style of trailer, a medium and large. This is a large design. They have either a steel or aluminum frame. I got the aluminum frame. I do not know if it's aircraft quality. Uh, the material on the outside is made out of polyester. The wheels are 20 inch wheels on the large style trailer. The, uh, it is not rubber, it's made out of some type of nylon. And if you plan on buying this, assemble it either outside or in a garage because it does gas, the tires are gassing off. And uh, when I took it apart, uh, when I took it out of the box yes, yesterday in the living room, it smelled up my living room. It, it's a really bad smell. If you want that, do it somewhere else. Anyways, moving on. Assembly. I'm not going to explain about the assembly because uh, there's other videos that I will show you. So uh, this is the large design. It's supposed to be able to carry a 110 pound pet. I have my opinions about the design and when if you want to carry a dog or pets that uh, that heavy. So let me let me move on uh, this is also could be a combination of a stroller you just gotta buy accessories for it I'm not buying it because I would look weird for being a large dude pushing this big ass trailer down the sidewalk all right moving on like I said polyester and then it has some type of waterproof bottom here's the thing uh, I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna show you the design on this, there really is not a solid floorboard for this trailer. So if you have a small dog, 20 pounds, who cares? Not a big deal. Uh, but I think once you go to a larger dog, the do there's not going to be any stability for this dog to step on. He's going to feel weird and probably want to lay down. So I'm going to lift this up for you and show you that there is no cross members. There's no cross frame. This is the bottom. Uh, so, the only thing that the company offers is this eighth inch piece of floppy PVC. Now it's a little bit, and that's all you get. It slides in, uh, there, there's a groove inside where it slides in, that's fine. Like I said, if it's good for a 20 pounder, fine. I think once you start going to a larger dog, it, like I said, a dog is gonna feel uneasy because it's like, it's like, like walking on the bed. All right, would you feel comfortable walking, standing in the bed and having this thing moving around? No, you're gonna want to lay down. So I don't know why the company designed it like that. I I don't know if they're just trying to save money. Like I said, there's really no support. I, I I've seen opinions where people said. Uh, the liner tore and I could see that happening because you have a large dog it's gonna put pressure on this material it's gonna push down and eventually it's gonna tear from the sides it's gonna happen so uh, what else it, on the inside it also came with this uh, little padding for the dog to lay on oh well, that's okay not a big deal so I would say the next suggestion is if you're a person that could do stuff by yourself make things by yourself do so. I've seen people posting videos of uh, making a floorboard made out of plywood. I think that's great. If you have a large dog, 80 plus pound, go with a, a go, use a plywood floorboard. Make, uh, make it out of like maybe, you know, 3 8 or thicker, whatever the case is. Uh, I think the only downside is if you are going to be transporting this and tearing it down, it's just going to be another step for you to take it out. Maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. Forget about that. So, anyways, uh, I bought this for a dog who is getting older, and she's got some heart issues. She can't walk as much, and her hearing's going. So, I still want to be able to have her go out and enjoy the weather and the scenery as much as possible. So, uh, we, had, like I said, went along and bought this trailer. Uh, it is a large trailer for a thirty pound dog uh, however I am looking in the future if I buy if I get another dog it's going to be either a lab or a shepherd or something so I know when it gets older it's going to either have a hard time walking who knows what whatever the case is so this is what I bought it for 
Uh, so let me go on with what I made. I made a subfloor um, for this unit. I made it where basically the plywood sits on the frame and it has support. Okay, and I made it out of 3 16 plywood. I only went that thickness because I had this available in my house because I like to keep things and I'm a scrounge and I'm like, yeah, this is a decent size. If I go anything thicker, eh, it may be too, little, too heavy for, for the dog that I'm carrying. If I, I guess if I, in the future, I wind up getting a 80 pound dog, then I'll probably go with a thicker plywood. I cut this up. This cut out is a 22 and one, 22 and one eighths wide by 30 inches long. Uh, and I rounded out the corner, sanded it, so if I put it in, it's not going to tear up uh, the polyester covering. On the back side, I did have, because I'm a scrounge, some aluminum U-channels. Of course, there's two different kinds on there because I didn't have all the same. And I screwed them in, and uh, it works very well. You know, for me, it works very well, and it gets some rigidity in the center. So, placing this in, I think in the future I plan on maybe uh, covering the backside with some type of fabric or something. Uh, so, you know, so, you know, just to make it look nicer. And then putting this padding back in. I thought about, like, oh, maybe I'll, you know, turn this into like a mattress style, put some padding, but if it ever has to get clean, then it's a pain in the ass. So, you know, there's really no reason to go that far. And uh, I'll show you it once I put it back together. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this gets put in a few seconds. And like I said, it's a floorboard. It's a great, like I said, got a, a lot of support for him, her. And uh, like I said, this thing, I'm not even putting it in. It's a waste. It doesn't do anything. Just... It just adds waste weight to the trailer. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, ask me and I maybe could answer it for you. So anyways, coming back to why the company designed this with no support at the bottom, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if they were trying to save money uh, at the bottom, but to me, structurally, if I'm building a freaking house, it's going to have solid flooring. <laughs> I don't understand the design with this, especially with a 110-pound dog. I bet you with this design, what I have now, it probably could hold more weight. Maybe up to 200 pounds. I don't know. I'm not going to try it because I'm heavier than 200 pounds. Anyways, hope this helps you out. Uh, got any questions, I guess you could ask me. And have a good day. This is the assembly on a... Uh, this trailer is on a truck bike. Attachment was pretty quite simple. And this is my dog, Molly. She's about 34 pounds shelty. As you can see, she's pretty laid back. And like I said, because of her health, you know, taking her on walks anymore is no bueno. So she, uh, we put her in it yesterday to test it out, like I said, and she had no issues with it. She's kind of like chilled out. Maybe other dogs may spaz out and be like, F this, I'm getting out of here. Uh, but she, she was pretty good. So uh, we'll do a test run with the new floorboard in. Go ahead and go for it. So based on yesterday's test result and today, today's test result with our dog being in this trailer, she appears to be, uh, like I said, a lot more stable uh, with the plywood floorboard in. I mean, she's basically standing and enjoying the ride where yesterday she looked and the first thing she did laid in was lay down probably because it's just unstable. There's, you know, you don't have a floorboard or anything. Uh, prior prior to making one so and that's that have a good day Molly